welcome back to Lisa Loves and it's another tag. I'm on a roll. I haven't done one for like two years. I'm doing two in one day. My goodness, what is the world coming to? This is actually one that I was asked to do by a subscriber of mine who had watched my sort of ghost um, video I did over Halloween and who has learned of my fixation with the paranormal and ghosts and stuff. And she asked, have you done the paranormal tag? And I hadn't heard of the paranormal tag. So I dutifully went searching for the paranormal tag. I cannot find the origin of this tag. Um, I will have another look before I post this and if I can find the origin or the originator I will pop it in the description. But there are 13 questions um, and I'm going to shoot through them now. I think a lot of these won't apply to me as I don't really ghost hunt. But um, a, a subscriber asked me to do it and who am I to disappoint? This is the paranormal tag. Number one. How old were you when you had your first paranormal experience? Um, I had lots of weird experiences as a child, which, you know, I don't have enough of a memory of to put down to being paranormal, but certain things really freaked me out in, in our uh, the house I grew up in as a child. Like hearing footsteps a lot coming up the stairs and there was no one there. But the only one I can pointedly say with clarity that I remember wasn't until I was about 18 and um, with groups of friends we used to stupidly, when it was really dark, drive places that were reputedly haunted and go ghost haunting. Why the hell who did that? I have no idea. And I had my one and only experience with a Ouija board. I've only ever done it once and I have never done it since. It was something otherworldly and horrible and it wasn't like TV like you see in movies and stuff but the, the actual experience of having your hand on a glass that moves and you know that you and those other people are not moving it and it's moving by itself freaked me the hell out to such a degree I cannot even tell you. Um, that is, is the first time when I knew for sure that there was something out there. Um, number two, have you always believed in ghosts? From when I have been old enough to know what ghosts are, yes, I believe in ghosts. The f first movie to ever really, really frighten me was Poltergeist, which I saw as a child. Um, naughty parents. But other things, gore and guts and all that sort of stuff never frightens me. I can watch slasher movies, I can watch you name it, but a really good paranormal movie scares scares the bejesus out of me, so ha I have always believed in ghosts and always been scared of them. Number three, where is your favourite place to investigate? Right, I don't have a favourite place to investigate. There are different places I've been that have been reputedly haunted. One of those which is most well known is called the White Gates in the town I'm from, which is called Balamina. Um, that is reputedly haunted. Um, it does have a really weird air about it, a really weird atmosphere. Um, so yeah, I'll just say that. Number four, what's your favourite investigating tool to use? I'm going to skip that one because I'm not a paranormal ghost hunter or anything, so I don't use tools. Number five, what is your scariest paranormal experience? Um, the Ouija board was, was scary. Um, I would say well, there was an instance when me and my husband lived in England in a town called Saltaire and we both... A scary experience to me is something that you think is something completely normal and then you both realise that that thing that you thought was completely normal wasn't and you realise afterwards that you've seen something weird. Um, we were both in the house. I was heavily pregnant at the time um, me and my husband both saw a shadow in a room go past, like the shape of a man, just go past the wall. This room wasn't facing a window, there couldn't have been a person walking past casting a shadow. Uh, myself and my husband both saw it, so we thought that there was someone, we thought there was an intruder in the house, in this room. So uh, my husband went and grabbed, I think we had like... Was it a baseball bat? We had some sort of like a wooden bat of some description and my husband grabbed it and ran into the room ready to like, you know, whoever it was and the room was empty. Um, and he searched the entire house and he searched outside the house and there was no one to be seen. And we both saw this so clearly that we thought someone was in the house. And then afterwards it was like, oh my God, what was that? And it freaked us both out a bit, I have to admit. There are more, but that's the one that's coming to mind at the minute. What is your favourite paranormal experience? I don't know that I have 
a favourite experience. I, I can't actually think of anything that I thought, oh, that... I'm a big believer in things. When my husband's mother passed, um, she had a, a long fight with cancer. And when she passed, um, he looked out the window and there was a rainbow outside. And he's always seen a rainbow as being symbolic of his mum watching him. And um, when I see rainbows, it's, you know, some people it's feathers, um, for some people it's robins, for some people it's superstitious crap, you know, have your own opinion. But I do like to see a rainbow because it does remind me of my husband's mum and it sort of like makes me think she's there and she's watching us and I don't know if that's true or if it's not true, but there's some comfort I think in that. Um, number seven, do you know anyone else personally who has had paranormal experiences? I know quite a few people from having that interest and connecting with other people with that interest. So yeah, I know quite a few people that have had paranormal experiences. Number eight, do you have trouble convincing friends and family about your paranormal experiences? I don't try to. Either you believe or you don't. Um, some people think that you're cuckoo if you believe. I'm not about to try and convince anyone, although this is a really weird one. You, right, if you're going to think I'm mad, but I'll tell you anyway. Something that I've done growing up, and I've only done it on three occasions, is if... Uh, I'm going to be the harbinger of doom here. I'm the alternative of a banshee. When both my grandparents passed, I dreamt repeatedly for a week leading up to their deaths that they had died. Neither of them were in ill health. Neither of them were in hospital. Both of them died suddenly. Um, and I had dreamt that they died just days leading up to it, very vivid dreams um, and not at any other time so it wasn't just a fear it was a very vivid dream repeatedly over the course of a few nights and a very close friend's mother passed away and it was the same situation with that and I remember many many years after this happened mentioning it to my mum and she said really matter of factly oh your, your granny used to true dream as well and I'm like, you what? This is my gran that I dreamt about passing away who passed away. And my mum told me that my granny, as she was all through her life, had dreams of stuff that happened. And she dreamt about places that she'd never been before she went there. And then when she went there, she knew her way around and just weird stuff like that. So um, that's the only time when I attempted not really to convince my family about it, but to talk to my family about it. I mentioned it to my mum and her response just to me was just utterly shocking, I have to admit. Number nine, favourite paranormal TV show or movie? My favourite paranormal movie is without a doubt Poltergeist. I also think Amityville Horror is terrifying. Um, There is a scene in Paranormal Activity where the person's pulled out of the bed by the foot. All that just scares the bejesus out of me. My favourite paranormal TV show is Most Haunted, which is a British TV show. I just really like the people in it. Although the psychic that they used to use at the beginning was found out to be um, faking it. He was very swiftly sacked. So I tend to prefer to watch the later episodes after that person, Derek Akora, if you're wondering, um, after he was in it. He was really funny to watch. He, he just he pretended he was possessed and stuff and it was ridiculous. But the later shows, the more recent shows, I do really enjoy. Um, so yeah, most haunted. Um, number 10, what would be your dream place to investigate? I don't think I'd have... It scares me. It scares me to... Then again, I was supposed to do a sponsored ghost, like overnight stay in a haunted jail in Ireland um, to be sponsored for um, cancer research. And I ended up having to go into hospital to have my gallbladder removed. So my friend had to do it in my place. And I'm pretty jealous about that. I would have liked to have done that. Prisons or castles, I think, would definitely be the ones that would interest me. But I would not want to do it alone because it scares the life out of me. Um, number 11. Do you prefer to investigate alone or in a group? I've already just answered that. If I was doing anything, it would have to be with other people. Because I am a big Jessie. I'm terrified. 12. Is your home haunted? I don't think so. We've lived in this house for about a year and a half and um, as yet I haven't, I, well I have seen stuff but I think I, I have um, sleep paralysis which is hideous and I'm going through this thing at the moment and have been for months and months and months where I seem to be like half awake, half asleep and I as clear as day can see things in the room 
but then when I wake up I'm really confused and I'm convinced I was awake when I wasn't awake and like a very common thing is seeing like um, what people describe as shadow people but seeing like the shadow of a man walk into the room and right to the side of your bed and it is terrifying. Now my mind knows there's nothing there it's just me being between wake and sleep but it doesn't stop it being absolutely terrifying but real paranormal stuff in this home I don't think so I don't think I've experienced anything like that and lastly number 13 have you ever had any paranormal experiences with animals no um I've experienced animals behaving very strangely um for no reason and maybe staring at one particular spot in a room and barking or being obsessed with a specific place and there's nothing there or being frightened and you don't know why um, I've experienced that numerous times with pets of mine but a paranormal experience with an animal, no um, so yeah, that is my answers to the paranormal tag I apologise that there are some there obviously I couldn't answer because I don't really go out and ghost hunt um, I, sh I really would like to but it would be full of profanity the whole thing would be beeps of me swearing so if I ever get night vision, um, I will do one or do a few and, and give you a laugh at my complete and utter abject terror. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my answers. Feel free if you want to do the tag to do it and say that I tagged you. I tag anyone with any interest in the paranormal. If you want to talk about it, feel free. Obviously, I know a lot of people don't like to because other people get very judgy and say you're mad or whatever. Up to you guys, whatever you want to do. So um, that's my answers to the paranormal tag. Thank you so much for watching um, and it's overnight from Lisa Lewis.